All right, guys. So we're quickly looking at the next um, eye problem. Um, this is what is known as a pellucid marginal degeneration. Pellucid marginal degeneration. Yes. So this is how it looks like. All right. And if you do a corneal topography, this is how it will look like. All right. Okay. So we said that it's a rare, it's a progressive corneal disorder. It causes thinning and bulging of the cornea. So this will now lead to what? Irregular astigmatism. And it will obviously distort your vision. So unlike keratoconus, a pellucid marginal degeneration typically affects the inferior corneal region in a crescent shaped pattern, often between the 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock positions of the eye. Okay. So symptoms is gradual vision deterioration due to what increasing astigmatism. You have blood vision that worsens over time. Rarely, acute corneal high drops that can cause what sudden swelling and pain in the eye. So causes and risk factors is the exact cause is not known, but it's believed to maybe non-inflammatory or hereditary stuff. Okay, it's non-inflammatory and non-hereditary. Okay, it's not inherited. Okay. So it's often misdiagnosed as keratoconus due to similarities to the corneal thinning patterns, okay? But it's typically diagnosed in adults between 20s and 40s but can occur later on in life too. So treatment and diagnosis is corneal topography is a primary diagnostic tool. Specialists will know how to read it. Revealing the characteristic thinning patterns, all right? The colors shows what the topography, okay? So eyeglass and special specialty what contact lenses such as clearer lenses can help correct vision. Corneal collagen cross linking make sure progression in some cases. Okay. So that's for pellucid marginal degeneration.